what perspective was the evidence written? Whose opinions was it cited? Who was implicated in the discussion? So a lot of times in youth camps based on politics this ad, I try to, this fourth part, I try to talk about uh, maybe our evidence talks about insiders, people who know what's going on. You can say that their evidence is just talking about speculation, people who are optimistic that Skipper will pass. You can also talk about uh, things like vote counts. Who is, uh, if, whether or not your evidence actually cites how many people are willing to vote for Skipton now? Versus maybe their evidence only talks about how Obama is like, this is the top of my agenda. I'm going to get this passed. Right? Those are different types of uh, things you can find around their evidence. Which also kind of falls into comparison. Uh, also, it's a section that I call comparison. You should explain to me, or the judge, whoever it is, why your evidence is better than theirs. It's not okay to just say that, what's up, my evidence is so good, what's up, they're just so bad, right? You need to explain, uh, have comparative claims between your evidence. And this doesn't need to be an extensive list. You can have like one or two uh, reasons why you can rip your evidence over theirs. Alright, so... Thank you. 
have a basic kind of understanding of how to use the one arrow. So I want to go ahead and say a huge caveat to shadow flowing is that you probably should not start doing this until you think you have you, you have all your fundamentals down. You have debated for a while. You you know all the structure is all new to you, but shadow flowing is something you can move on to. <clears throat> shadow flowing is a technique in which you flow the two AC. Well, you flow the one AC too, by the way. We'll start the two AC. So let's say Tony, Nelly.
the other stuff, yeah. Organizing your thoughts. Yeah, that's good. That's smart. What else? Top tier two. Yes. Don't forget, you don't want to put you have a partner. Someone who's just like your butt. Someone who like read Evans for even during the 218. You have a partner who's going to have to get a speech based off of yours again. So I'm going to just mention this a little bit before, but you really, 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 really need to make sure that you talk to your 2AR. Which, what, what are some questions you used to ask your 2AR? Yeah? What do you want to go for? Yeah, what do you want to go for? What do you think is important? What should I be looking out for? What's another thing you should talk to your 2 about? Okay, this is a little tricky. Is you should ask them if there's any arguments that if you don't go for, you're going to lose the debate. Maybe you miss like some theory argument the two and eight, two and C or one not made. Maybe you miss like just a whole impact scenario you didn't hear somehow. Any of those sorts of things. You should ask your partner what's going on. What evidence do you want me to read? What evidence do you want me to read? That's very important as well because. Maybe your 2A doesn't want you to read another piece of evidence on the EQ to me. So, while the 1AR has a lot of autonomy and it's a very important speech, you should always keep in mind that you need to do, uh, keep in mind what your 2A wants to, go, wants to go down. Because they have to give a speech on what you went for in your 1AR. Um, one more thing about shadow flowing before I move on, because we're almost out of time, is that even when I do shadow flow, Thank you. 